Hey everyone, it's me Sachita. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about some skills, some training, some uh, maybe the online courses you can do to be uh, become a teacher. Maybe you are a fresher student. Maybe you just crossed your graduation and you are targeting to get a teaching job. So this video is going to be for you. Even the next series of video, I'm going to include two three videos in the next coming weeks in which I'm going to target only. my audience who are freshers and they really want to enter the teaching field so what is the best way no institute will try to train you they just look for the experienced candidates so what are, what are the options how you can grab a good opportunity and with a scale you at least deserve for your work right so without any delay let's start today's video if you are new to the channel do consider subscribing and press the bell icon so you all are watching my videos you are appreciating my efforts so do subscribe to the channel so that i will also get to know that you like my content and it will give me a motivation to make more such videos so without any delay let's into this so first we will understand as a fresher and you want to enter in this teaching field what all are the qualities the skills you really require so i'm going to talk about five skills which make you a perfect teacher at least uh, in this competitive era you will stand somewhere and you will stand out like you know as compared to the other teachers the first one is communication communication is the key in this uh, education field what will happen see uh, as a teacher as a educator we need to convey our content to the students so although you are knowledgeable you have a good content knowledge but you are lacking in the communication and you are not able to communicate your concerns your content to the students so it's going to be a very boring and it's not going to be an interactive class and for sure so the first area where you need to work is the communication now the second skill is technology see we are in this covid era especially we all teachers are teaching online so technology is a must key to plan your curriculum to plan your exams to assess the students to deliver your content so you must have a basic knowledge of excel powerpoint word excel we all will like you know keep the data online we are taking the attendance online we are calculating the marks all the assessment details we keep in excel file so you must know the basic thing like you know how to put a addition formula subtraction formula in excel sheet so you first learn the basic of the excel to keep all your assessment record if you have this knowledge you know it will really work well for you because it will be easy for you to do the manual calculation will be a time consuming thing if you know the basic formulas to add in this excel sheet it will work as a boom for you second one is the word we all are uh, designing our this one question papers the assessment sheets in the word file so you must have a basic formatting how to uh, for example i'm writing x square as a math teacher so you must know how to write the equation you must know how to write the chemical formulas like ch3oh in chemistry so you learn all those tricks of the word next one is powerpoint powerpoint we as a teacher are using daily to deliver our content we see now we are teaching online so something should be in front of us we are using the powerpoint to deliver the content to uh, arrange the thing like you know this is a lesson objective so you know some really creative uh, powerpoint tricks by which you can attract the student you can add the emojis you can insert your video itself in the powerpoint you don't have to go to the youtube to show the video of your today's lesson so you learn all those uh, things in the powerpoint so these three things are the main which you must know when you want to enter in this teaching field even nowadays when the employer will take the interview they will ask you have you know a good knowledge of excel word powerpoint and till what extent you are able to manage because it will be a lot of stress on your head if you don't know those basic skills to manage and to add it like you know uh, quickly in these three applications other than that you know how to use this platforms like nia pod mentimeter these are you know very uh, simple platform if you are using a facebook and any other uh, like you know social platform you are able to make a account, uh, account easily on these so these small small uh, you can say platforms if you will add in your lesson and you will show to the employer believe me it's going to make a huge difference so as a fresher when you are really preparing to enter in this field what you need to do in terms of technology you write 
write down these 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 all platform i must know how to use as a teacher to deliver the content you make a list of mentimeter jam board near board or maybe uh, like you know sway sway also is a very uh, people are using instead of powerpoint to deliver the content powerpoint excel so we'll spend at least a good one month to learn all these things and then try it for an interview next one is pedagogy skills you know i remember i think uh, yesterday evening i got one message of my subscriber on instagram she was saying in the interview uh, the employer asked her to explain the bloom taxonomy yes you as a educator as a uh, teacher you must know how to include bloom taxonomy in your lesson if you want i will make a detail video for that but i felt try to tell in short you need you need to know how to include the activities in your lesson you must know how to include the high order thinking like how you can differentiate the class in terms of real application of that particular topic high order thinking question of that particular topic so you must know how to include uh, those things and to what person like your lesson is 100% so 10% of this 10 20% of this 30% of the activities so you as a educator you must know how to differentiate your lesson into these criteria so uh, check all the videos there thousand of videos available on bloom taxonomy even when you will go on google you will study there are many principles who are explaining how to do all these things if you still know do mention in the comment box give me five six comment about the bloom taxonomy and i'm going to explain with the help of a real lesson plan that how you can include the bloom taxonomy or how you will explain to the employer like what you all you know about the bloom taxonomy so this is a pet question they all ask explain what is bloom taxonomy I mean, how, for example, I'm a science teacher. So, how, as a science teacher, you will use Bloom taxonomy in your lesson? So, that must you learn, do a detailed study about your subject in relation to pedagogy and Bloom taxonomy. the fourth skill is teaching strategies yes how to do a class control how to manage the naughty students how to do the behavior management these all skills there are many courses i'm going to mention the website at the end of this video what all website you can use to do free course for all these skills so do check out and get a certificate of a teaching strategy course and learn some new tricks according to this new generation last but not the least you can do any IB curriculum or CBSE curriculum uh, certificate course to enter in this class. See, in India, the most uh, demanding curriculum is CBSE. But uh, CBSE, as a CBSE teacher, we are not getting paid like you know to that level. So, as a fresher, if you will do a IGCSE certified teacher course, or maybe if you will do IB certified teacher course, then that will be a boon and will increase your chances to get hired. Not in India, plus also in the foreign countries, they do prefer the IB certified teacher. I have done my IB certification course before I came to here uh, outside India. So do these courses so that it will make you a certified teacher for that curriculum. For CBSE, anyways, we have uh, like you know skills we have done B. A. in our graduation. Now, if you will do IGCSE and IB curriculum certificate course also, then it will increase your chances. Now you have wider options. You can apply to the IB schools also, IGCSE schools also, and CBSE school also. So these are the standards. Strategies. Now, from where you can do these courses? As you are not earning, you definitely don't want to spend much, right? Because you you have hardly of your pocket money as a fresher. I will mention the five website here, and these five website. Check it out, each one of you. The link is also given in the description box. Go check out these website have. all these courses free of cost with certificate now what you need to do i mentioned the five skills like communication teaching strategies and then all like you know which i just explained so what you need to do target each skill and do one certificate course from these websites and get your certificate and when you are going as a fresher the employer will not consider you as a fresher you must know you know all those skills required for the uh, teaching career you are a certified uh, teacher and you will not get a salary which you don't deserve for your work you will definitely get something in hand to start your career with a better end and believe me those who are looking for the teaching opportunities outside india you will also So try these uh, website and get all these specially IB and IGCSE certificate. Do these uh, certificate, and I'm going to make a detailed video for specially for the IB teacher in the 
uh, this week only mostly if i'll get time and uh, i will explain that uh, you know clearly so stay tuned with me i'm sure with this video you all must have get an idea as a fresher because i was getting all the question as a fresher how to start as a fresher how to go abroad so with this i think at least you got a basic uh, like you know idea where to start and stay tuned with me i'm going work, working in this coming week especially for the fresher teachers and do give me your ideas give me your doubts so that i can make the content in a better way that's all for today's video stay tuned with me keep growing as a teacher we need to bring this teaching platform to a next level and we can do this all together we all deserve a good pay and i'm sure but at least if i'm able to contribute this much to your teaching skill i'll be feeling i i i will feel successful with this uh, youtube channel that's all for today have a nice day bye bye